Hey, what's up everyone? Happy spring. Today I'm gonna be fishing a very cool lure that Bait Finesse Empire and I have co-branded. We are calling this the Shimmy Minnow. This is uh, 40 millimeters and it's three grams. This guy is actually weighted at the bottom. So this thing right here, it looks like a stick bait because technically it is a stick bait, but it works like a sinking jerk bait slash spoon. So when you cast this out, and you just let it sit there, sit in the water, it's gonna shimmy down like this. That's why we call it shimmy minnow, okay? And if you twitch it, it's gonna dart around like a fluke or a jerk bait. And if you slow roll it, it's gonna wobble through the water like that. It comes with a single hook, assist hook like this, and it also comes with a treble hook that's not installed. So uh, yeah, it's gonna be released very soon. You guys definitely, definitely don't wanna miss out. How I like to fish this is I fish it on light tackle. Uh, Ultralight is perfect for BFS folks like me and my fans, of course. And I have four pound test line today. This is actually Cast King Cold Polymer uh, the floral coat. It sinks and I wanted a sinking line because I didn't want a mono because you want this thing to sink horizontal. That's the key, okay? So you want sinking line with it so this thing sinks more horizontal. If you have like a thicker line or you have like mono, it's going to sink on an angle just a little bit like that. It still works, uh, but I think it's crucial in this blue bird sky situation early spring you know yesterday was crazy it was hot 80 degrees with winds up to like 25 miles per hour gust and today is the other end of the front yes it's the cold front blue bird sky it's tough so you want to finesse them out this is it i'm casting uh, this into sh uh, shallows near structures like uh, fallen trees and uh, branches to catch some spring crappies let's go get them for my other tackle here i have the tatula 100 and I actually swapped off to um, Chameleon Spool, so I turned this into a BFS reel. And I got Surinoya Dragon. This is the QLC702 Lite. And yeah, it's gonna be very fun. Let's go slam. All right, so we got some fish here. Let's try to bait finesse Shimmy Minnow. See if we get that uh, crappy to bite this. It sinks a little slower, so it's gonna be fun. Oh yeah, got one. Oh yeah, let me change my drag a little bit. Oh, dude, it's a small one, but I got one. I got one. Hey, let me, let me, let me, all right, this time it's photo worth. Oh wait, did I snag him? I did, so I can't really count that. Oh no. So, um, nose shot, he got a nose piercing. Poor little guy, nose piercing. All right, off you go. But he like like T-boned it and I hooked it from the back. So interesting, interesting lure. All right, let's see if any more coming out right there. Let's play. This, this water right here, because it's not moving, I think uh, it definitely warm, uh, warm a lot uh, quicker. Since the water here is not moving, I think it's warming up a little different than other spots. Let me re-angle myself. But yep, this lure is pretty cool. I could twitch it and let it fall, flutter down. I could swim it slowly. So versatile. Got him. Got him. All right. Got a bass. That's what I'm talking about. That is what I'm talking about, baby. Look at that. Oh yeah. And he got it right, his gill plate. So let me just back it out just a little bit. In fact, let me just use a tool. It's always good to use tools whenever you can. And uh, we got some oil on your hands and stuff like that. So we don't want to um, touch them. Right in the gill. There we go. Dingy bass, but still, he took it, so I'll take it. Oh. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about, guys. Got him good. Come here, slab. Spring slab slayer.
got them right on the edge right there and need to back it out first can i back it out this way yeah i hooked them twice so let me just back it out this way oh, let me just yep back it out and then let me just kind of bend it this way i uh i grab it from the other side got it this is what i'm talking about guys this is a fun lure shimmy me now Just cast it out there, let's flutter down a little bit, do a few twitch twitch. Twitch twitch. This is actually very perfect for these shallow water situations. Let me go back this way for a second. Did I get hit? Yeah, I got hit. The line looked so weird a second ago when I re reeled in, but he spit it out already. Got it. Oh, ay uh. Oops. Let's try over there. There's a lot of fish around here. Definitely a finesse way, especially with this cold front. I like it. All right, let's try it this way. That's a fish. Come on. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. These slabs are hiding right in there. Come on. Come to daddy. That is what I'm talking about, boys and girls. I gotta take a photo for this one. All right, off you go. That's a fish. Got him. Got him. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Crappy in and up with this awesome, awesome, awesome lure. Check that out. Off he goes. All right, so guys, I have a cove that I'm fishing right now. This cove here is protected by the wind, but the sun is be has been beating on this cove since the morning. So uh, it's very warm. It's surface temperature is 62.3, which is great in late March. And yeah, I am gonna see if this I gotta catch some fish here. There's some trees right there. We definitely wanna cast in there. There's a catamaran right there. This whole bank right here looks really, really nice. So I'm gonna cast and uh, see if we catch some bass. But primarily, I'm targeting those panfish, uh, those black crappies and white crappies. All right, so I'm gonna cast this out here. And since this is in the shallow, what I'll do is uh, I'll just do small little twitches, really up the slack knot. Oh, fish! Okay. But yeah, I'm just basically gonna do an up and down lift up let it drop down lift up let it drop down because i want the flutter action that is going to be the key of me catching some early what is this slab slab it is that's what i'm talking about guys the slab this is pr probably the biggest one i caught so far with this lure look at that looks good huh all right put this thing back down it's gonna be a crazy crappy lure during the spring Got him. Got him. Got him. Whoa. Third species already. Mondo. Mondo bluegill. Holy smokes. Check that out. I, 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 easy, easy, easy. Look at that. Freaking Mondo. Mondo. Hold up. Hold up. All right. Got what I wanted. Off you go. Big, 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 big bluegill. Holy smokes. All right, so we'll fish these walls here. Sun beaten walls. I think I prefer to do some structure. Oh, well, there's fish in here. I guess the wall is a good structure too. Oh, got him. <laughs> so close to the freaking kayak too. I had to stay stealthy. I was like, wait a sec. I cannot leave the spot without this, without pulling one of these guys out. Yeah, let me give some light. Here we go. Good. Hey, pop them off quick. Not bad, not bad. Uh, I think it's pretty uh, much average size so far, so it's okay. I don't need to show every single fish that I catch here. 
Of course, I like to. Oh, that's a bite already. Really think the fluttering is key so far for the day. On my other video, I've been casting for so long. Like I was on the lake eight o'clock and uh, it took so long to catch a few fish. It was kind of sad, but right now I'm catching so much more fish, but it's inconsistent. Welcome to spring. And I got him. I got him, got him, got him. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, came off. Never mind, I don't have him. Oh, got one. My usual spot for some slabs. I came here earlier with the, the jig and I wasn't able to pull any one of them up. Maybe because it's falling too fast for a 1 16th ounce. But this guy right here, I threw it right exactly where I want it. And I let it flood it down on it. And there he goes. And as you see, this guy's been caught before in the past. Off you go. Bait finesse. Empire, shimmy minnow. Let's do it. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Here we go. Here we go. Woo! Wow. No wonder they've been nipping. It's a big gill. Woo! Look at that. Super duper. All right, folks. I think this is the end of this specific trip video. I think I might go around the lake one more time with a different lure, but this is the BFE Shimmy Minnow. It's gonna be an awesome lure, guys. I can't wait for it to be released here in the States and so that you guys get it and fish it. I'm telling you, these, <laughs> these lures right here are so much fun, so versatile, and it's a finesse presentation, especially if you guys need a, a slower fishing uh, presentation, vertical flutter down near uh, structure. It's gonna catch those fish. And it's really, really good for trout and streams too. I like to cast it upstream and kind of watch it uh, flutter downstream and make it bend. You want to swing that lure in front of those trout and then uh, bring it back in. So yeah, you guys can watch me cast some trout with this lure and uh, of course with other lures too, but I really like this lure and I can't wait for you guys to try it. So uh, stay tuned for that BFE. They're gonna launch soon. And this is our official first lure that we will be selling. Well, he'll be selling, but uh, you know. Oh, got one right in my extra. Oh my gosh. Nice one. Nice one. Nice one. Oh yeah. Oh man. Doing the extra. This is what I'm talking about. That's a nice one. That is a nice one. Oh man. And give it some lines because I need to handle them a little bit. Bring them over. Got him. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about, guys. Look at that. Oh man, this is what I'm talking about. I probably butchered that because I was doing an extra and I was really not supposed to be casting and talking at the same time. But you know what? When you hook up a fish, you hook up a fish, right? So anyways, let me just pop this guy out. There we go. Look at that. All right, well, off you go, Bassy Bassy. Thank you for the fight. And guys, I am telling you, this is the lure. This is the lure. 